Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I have nothing left in the tank. Everything everybody's all used up oh, and I we are gonna we're gonna go. I've got a long way. Uh, we have to talk to Gail at some point. I am so encumbered. Maybe I should do something about that. Um I don't know, Carlac might be over encumbered. Wow, I am it's actually so much. Okay, I think I have balanced it out so I'm not like not everybody's gonna keel over, but Halston and Carlac are the ones who have some stuff. We need to talk to Gale. I mean, we need to talk to we need to talk to everybody, but Gale especially, I think, is gonna be mad. You saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down uh, there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? I mean, yeah, well, she's very upset. He's spaghetti. I thought Will would maybe do it, because it was his dad that got, you know, taken away. Um, but Carlac takes precedence. Um, it seems he's a servant of Bane as Catholic served Miracle. Who knows what powers he's gained since you knew him? I'd never have protected a Baneite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted mm -hmm. him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him. Oh dear. Oh, that's actually... Yeah, careful, careful. You bet your ass I am. And I won't stop till that fucker is dead. I get, I, I know she's upset, but like, she's, I think she's gotta be careful. What's... Oh, oh, hey, Withers. Withers only has one hill. Um, are we? What is going on? New panels yeah, listen. You, you don't talk to me right now. I need to talk to Will. Yeah, I, I totally get it. But we have things to talk about. God be damned. With that parasite in his brain, father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Feyru. Uh... Maybe we can talk about all of this. The absolute cult has Raven Guard. Where will they take the ticket of Baldur's Gate, you moron? Worms oh, okay, fortress. more specific. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates. I mean, hopefully we can get there and stop him. And this, I was thinking about this earlier, and it seems a bit brutal. But if we need to, we could put Will on the throne or whatever it is that you want to call it. Um... If we have to kill Duke Ravengard, or if we have to like take him away, be like he's not well, you know what I mean? What do you know about Gortash and Orin? She was cool. She was like she was like undead, undead or something, and she had weird patterns going on under her skin. Orin, I'd never heard tell of, but Gortash I know, or know of more precisely, a self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. Uh, bit player with dreams of a leading role the way father mm -hmm. told him he had no use for Gortash and even less for his advice I don't remember much beyond that but where these chosen are concerned I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like yeah and we took out one of them Mizora said you can you can say what led to your pact in exile's time I know the whole truth yes but first a question if your home were under siege what would you sacrifice to save it? Okay, so he's gonna... He's, he's Obviously he's done something. He gave something... Like, I don't know. Like the, Will is a hero, and he's a good man. But I feel like he probably did something in the name of the greater good that was less than stellar, you know? And so now we're getting to the justification part, even before we've heard the story. Um, which I get, right? Like... He doesn't want to be misinterpreted, I think, too. Which is fair. It's just totally fair. Um, 
I'd give my life if it meant keeping the residents safe. I'm still a paladin, sort of. As would I, and more. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elturel to help settle a dispute. That's when the cult of the dragon <gasps> made its move. Whoa! The cult of the Whoa. dragon, a fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess. I Tiamat was wondering. And intend to summon her to Faerun. I wonder if this is in Baldur's Gate 1 or 2. Um, nod and... Mm, the cult of the dragon and the Baldur's Gate to what end? To conjure the dragon queen and lay waste to Baldur's Gate. I mean, that's Gate. pretty self-explanatory. ten day after father left. I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the queen of chaos awakens. Go alone. This sounds I like grabbed a rapier and he was up. manipulated. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to share. Oh, are we going to share happened. memories like we do with Shadowheart? Yes. In the looming shadow of the mountain. Five groups of five figures, each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, ah. a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. The first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mazura's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it. She whispers. Oh, not like Shadow Hearts. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. Yeah, I do wonder. I, I do wonder if he's been manipulated into this. That she, like. It does seem like a long way to go to, like, manipulate a 17 year old boy into giving you his soul, but, like, he's the son of Duke Ravengard, so I could see getting your toehold in that way. Um. Yeah, why would she want to save it? She didn't. Oh. She came on order of her mistress, Zarya. She never stops. Does she? Not for a second. Tiamat made a plan uh, for power. We... Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mizora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. Um, what about your father, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. Oh! If took on 25 cultists on your own, I find that hard to believe. I had Mazora at my side, and the archdevil Zariel guided our hands that day. I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. Yeah. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five great orbs atop a pile of... Why can't you do that now? My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Is that how you watched your eye in the Battle of the Cult of the Dragon? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world, or the depths of the lower dark, and still never shake her. Also, she has your soul, so, or at least she has like, an attachment, like a tie to it in some way. I don't think you could get out no matter what. I wonder, I think if we had had, what's his name? 
Oh no, is it the wrong? I can't. I can't remember which eye is Will's. That's undone because if we had Volo remove the eye, maybe it probably would have been the other one. That'd be crazy. Will would have two fake eyes. That would actually be kind of wild, honestly. It was brave what you did for the city. It was, and it's like too bad that that was the most readily available power instead of like you know a god or something. But it's far easier to make a deal with the devil than it is to make a deal with a god. I think no matter what. <laughs> Whatever, no matter what belief system you have, real or not. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. We'll return to the subject later. I understand. Yeah, are you gonna be stuck? Why you stuck up there? Uh, you must have been furious with your father for throwing you out of the city. No, no. I didn't think so. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst, and Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. Do you miss your father? More than you know. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. Okay. Come. There are important yeah, well, listen, we have somebody I can talk to right here. That's rough. Like, the fact that he couldn't even tell his dad, I didn't even think about that part. The corpse regards you lifelessly. It's like, oh. Cold. What? Usually they don't say something. Um. What were you doing in the village? Hostages. The absolute ones. Hostages. Uh, I don't remember what village. Where did you come from? The towers. Um, are there others like you nearby? Many. Yeah. Who are you? Fezzuk, best rider. You have any values? No. The spells power. Okay, this was kind of pointless. Um, these are people who are obviously. Like I uh, are killed by our by our people. You're gonna be the best true soul there ever was. <laughs> I don't remember. Like these are apparently people we could have met in a different area. Oh, the children are here. No. Daniel. Oh, hi. Oh, 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 good. Okay. They reunited. My love. You were dead. I saw your body. I'm here. And so are you. And my father, he... He can't hurt us any longer. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry! <laughs> every night that you'd come back to me. But somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke... My father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? She's dead. I will be. And you? In this moment, 
I want to feel. They're so cute. Uh, an ASMR Selunite cleric. Or paladin. And a Selunite cleric. That's really freaking cute. That's so cute. Oh, there you are. Ugh. This is Aelin. Aelin, this is... She's tall, but we have and met. she's small. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the shadow. Oh, valiantly. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your change it father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to She probably doesn't think that. Me. And we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp? Yes, brother? please. You'd be most welcome. We look. We already know. We already knew that she was Catherine's now, daughter. You will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and work. Oh, that was. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you. Later. That was very forward. <laughs> they're so cute. I mean, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. But like, they're super cute. It's I love. I love the. I love tall warrior lady and like small, like. Uh, magical lady. I think that's a really great. That's a good combo. Oh, it's perfect. Where? Oh, there he is. Oh, Daniel. You did it. Are you good now? Catherick Thorne is no more. All right, you don't look good. The shadow's grip is broken. Soon, the land shall heal. You don't look rendered fully. I'm glad I could help. Not as glad as I am. Nature moves at its own pace and bestows its ah. bounty when it sees fit. Give it time. A reward shall come to you when you need it most. They always give you stuff eventually, but if nothing else, I was like, I get housing out of this, you know? That's much. Oh my gosh, he's up and about! When Duke Elton formed the Flaming Fist, he saw out people of courage and honor to fill its ranks. You saved Daniel, lifted the curse, and killed an immortal. It's safe to say you'd have been recruited in an instant. I'm good with being uh, recruited to things. I'm on. I'm currently on break from uh, commitments. Uh. What of the Flaming Fist you've met here? What do you think of them? I don't know anything if the Flaming Fist are bad or not. They seem fine. They are... different to what Duke Elton envisioned. And I can't comment on Duke Ravengard himself. But I've seen the respect he inspires in the Flaming Fist. And that tells me all I need about him as a leader. I hope you can save Duke Ravengard. For the good of Baldur's Gate. Yeah, buddy, I'll do my best. Uh, about you? When this land fell to the curse, I should have gone with it. Thaniel is the only reason I survived. It's only fair I stay here and wait for him to awaken. I mean, he's... He's awake. After Thaniel awakens? I don't think there will be an after. The truth is... The shadow fell broke something inside me. Something no healer can fix. I don't know how long I have, but because of you, Thaniel is He's safe. too handsome to die. Because of you, I could help him as he helped me. So, thank you, my friend. And know that I have no regrets. He's too handsome to die. I'll recruit him. I'm not talking to you yet. Thanks. in last light. I was racking my brains. How the hells do we get past the curse? And then a blinding light cuts through the darkness like a blade through butter. All thanks to you, I... Why is it still screaming in here? I didn't think we'd make it without the old L rider to lead us. But you did a damn fine job. Um... 
I'm afraid Zebel down. I, I, it's only fair to tell them. I feel like I don't want. I shouldn't hide this from them. I freed Zebel down in the colony. I wouldn't be so quick to write him off as dead. I would. We didn't have any fight left. Ew. Him. Oh, okay. So he did go his own way. I don't think he could face me or all of you. The briefest hesitation, as Saris wars with old loyalties, and went. I looked up to him. We all did. But he let us down when we needed him most. To be fair, he's been there through a lot. To feed, but we still need supplies for the road. We'll scavenge what we can. Like, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll see you again in the city. You, you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain, right? Like, it seems cliche because, you know, it's used a lot. But, like, it's true. Like, event, like people can only be so strong for so long, I think. You know? Almost perfect. And, and everybody has a breaking point, and Zevlar had been through so much, like, it's from what little I know of his past, you know? And so, I think, relying too much on him, and, like, being, you can be upset with him, obviously, for, like, crumbling at a bad time, but, like, you know, I also, I, I sympathize, you know? You're here. Good. That's good. I'm glad you think so. Uh, are you all right? Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. Maul is still missing, and they haven't taken it too well. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. That's rough when the kids are like the ones trying to keep the adult from being upset. They're mature for children. You know, like street urchins tend to mature quickly or die, you know? I'm sure they appreciate it. Maybe. I'd love to put on a show just for them. But it's boring if I'm the only one playing. Oh my gosh. I need another bard. Maybe I'll find one in the city. Until then, the kids and I shall work on our masterpiece. I did miss whatever uh, story that she has, I think. Unfortunately, because I didn't meet her early enough. I found Mole's eye patch. This is Mole's. Where did you find Where's it? Where's that devil, actually? Somewhere unpleasant, but I didn't see Mole. She's probably safe somewhere. Of course she is. You hang on to that. I bet Mole will be angry at you for touching her stuff. I sure hope so. Elfira wants to write us a song about you fighting Ketherick. But I miss Maul. Uh... What? Where is she? I mean, I can tell... That's so mean. Like, this isn't even Dark Urge. Like, this is wild. I'm sure she just dropped it. Maul's fine. I promise. I'm gonna eat these words. You think so? I hope she finds us again soon. I think she won't be dead. Um, I think at nothing else she'll have been forced into a bargain with the devil. And with that devil guy. And when we find her, that's probably what's going to be the issue. Why, yes. Once Alfair is done with this song, we will be looking for patrons. All coppers welcome, pal. So? It, it's just Mole's eye patch. She's lost loads of them. That doesn't mean anything. Did you want something, or are you just here to stir? I'm just letting you know. I'm sure Mole will be waiting for you at Baldur's Gate. Exactly. And we'll definitely feel her wrath if she thinks we have a doubt. We are her. foreshadowing the crap out of this. This is gonna go so badly. And with that, we'll go ahead and cut it off there. This is, again, just sort of the generic outro I'm doing while I'm in Italy. Uh, some of these episodes will be a little shorter. Some of them will be a little longer. Uh, but I did my best just trying to make sure I had enough while I was going to be gone. 
Um, but I hope you all enjoyed the episode. And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.